Again. John's upset with his tape measure. I won't go back in. Well, hunky dory time. Let's see. Nah. I'm gonna need two logs here. So uh -huh. the poplar logs that have been sitting around here for the past year, I never got a chance to mill them all and they're rotting from the outside in. There's still some good wood on the inside. So what I'm doing is, uh, well, it looks like being very wasteful, but what I'm doing is getting, selectively using the inner part for four by fours because we're building a deck. Right now I'm just cutting four by fours for the feet. We need six of them and they have to be 36 inches each and then we'll trim them out once we get them all squared up so we're gonna run this log real quick oh this is fun so we're gonna run this log real quick and then we're gonna get another log and uh do the same thing come on <laughs> oh man this is what happens John will be at a store needing to measure something and he won't have a tape on him. So he goes and finds one in the store and then he uses it for what he needs it for. And then he's like, this is a cool tape. I think I'll just buy it. Or he's just too lazy to go back and find where he got it from. So he buys it instead. So we end up with a lot of tapes, but we lose a lot of tapes. And sometimes I cut through them with the chop saw. <laughs> So... I gotta, st I, well, let's share something guys, what's going on here. We're building everything we can with our sawmill and the wood on our property. We're gonna have, I mean, this is gonna be a homestead. This is, um, we're, we built the shed. Um, there's going to be an electric house to store the batteries and solar gear for our home. And all the power will go into there and then from there it'll go into the house into a normal breaker box. Um, and then there's going to be some other structures like a carport. We're going to build an agricultural building down below that's going to house the sawmill, the tractor, the attachments, all that stuff. So we'll be milling that stuff. Treehouse? Our kids' treehouse, yeah. We'll be using the sawmill plenty, but we talked to our inspector. If you look in the code book, there's nowhere in the code book where, well, in Virginia, that would give you span tables for the type of wood that we have on our property. We have yellow poplar or as I just learned, tulip poplar, same thing. Um, that's actually, tensile strength is better than pine, but we can't use that, we can't use oak, we can't use anything except for what's in the code book for um, Virginia statewide building code. So that's kind of a bummer. We have to purchase all of our dimensional lumber for the house, anything structural we have to buy it and has to fall within the proper span tables in order to build the house and for the county to approve it and us get our certificate of occupancy. So I just wanted to mention that ahead of time. Um, if it was up to me, I'd mill the forest and build a house and selectively take down nice trees and, and mill them, but. And they have to be stamped. And that's the other thing. Even if we did mill the lumber and we could go ahead and have a, a lumber inspector come through and give it a grade stamping, it is still nowhere in the Virginia statewide building code or the county side that adopts those codes. It's nowhere in there that says you could use that particular species. So it's kind of like you need to prove that a certain load is going to be able to withstand itself using the species that you, even though it's known that poplar is stronger than Southern yellow, still have to do it. So unfortunately we got to do that. And um, that's just going to be something we got to, we have to shell out the money for, but oh well.
All right, with that said, we are also doing a lot of research behind the scenes, not sharing a lot with you guys. We're finishing our floor plan. We're designing everything um, to be structurally sound. Um, that will be revealed to you soon so you know exactly what we're building. You can kind of get it in your head. And uh, yeah, lots to come. The weather's warming up. It's going to be great. Really looking forward to spring and breaking ground on the house site. So stay tuned. It's not too far away. And I wanted to mention Meg is has been doing well she she took on the job of studying all the code and like passing that knowledge to me and everything but so meg good job taking that on thanks um but she's also come up with this really wild idea which is in the code book for hot water for domestic and um radiant floor heating which is going to be very economical to run maybe not to get it up and running initially but it is going to be solar friendly uh, regarding you know battery uses your solar grid power it's going to be really really interesting it's a very unique system i had no idea this type of system even existed i didn't know you could do it either yeah so. we're definitely we are making phone calls um getting quotes from different companies as we speak so um, we're thinking ahead and um we'll share that with you too guys so yes a lot of uh questions will be answered in future episodes so stay tuned but for now we build a deck So we All got, right. our, got our posts. Six three footers approximately. I think we only need like 32 inches for each. Awesome. You ready? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I'd say aw, but that was hilarious. Aww. Okay. Let's build we, a deck. What are those, Meg? What do they call them? Well, tough, tough block. Tough block. You know, I was gonna get just traditional, uh, what, the concrete blocks, the pyramid looking things. Where are you going? I'm right here, I'm getting the other one. Something good to look at. Why don't you show it to us, Meg? Okay. All right. Uh, plastic, yeah. hard plastic. Cool. It'll work. Show me the underside. Okay, looks cool. like a great place for a black widow oh yeah good stuff yeah. all right they looked really hardcore plastic very um they are. very sturdy yeah so, I, I can my leg can tell you they're they're pretty hard i was gonna get just those pyramid um deck post uh blocks so here's the deal here's what we're doing it guys all right here's where our deck is going meg's just moving away our little wood totes Hey, it's not squeaking anymore. That's good. It didn't like the cold. No, it didn't. Man, harsh light right now, huh? Right. Yeah, and see the door there? That's the issue. Um, and so RV living, you got to basically come out of your door and then walk down the steps. And we're going to show you a little clip here of autumn. Do we have a clip of autumn, Meg? We have a clip of autumn. All right, we're going to show you a clip of how little kids who can't reach from the very bottom there, like if you stand there and you can't reach the door handle, you got to climb up the steps. You got to open the door, you got to climb down the steps, you got to go through the door, then you got to reach around unsafely and close the door behind you. And it's just a lot of steps for a little kid, not to mention it brings a lot of mud into the house when you just, you know, you can't take your shoes off outside. You get your uh, socks all wet every time. So having a deck here is going to be great. It's more like a platform. We're not going to put any footers in the ground. What are we going to do instead, Meg? We're going to use these, these. Yeah. This is a temporary structure. We are not living in this camper forever, but we're living in it for a while. So we want to be comfortable. I mean, I'd we've guess 18 wanting, more months or so. Yeah. We've been wanting to build this deck to kind of extend our living space a little bit. And the time has finally come. Yeah but we're not doing footers because we don't want this here permanently we may use it somewhere else on the property down the road so we yeah if we get it. that spring looking nice like yeah, the little pond we want to make maybe we'll bring it down there or we could just bring it somewhere else maybe a deck by the sawmill or something like that or who knows, who knows? by the pool or up by the other mountaintop has a really nice view if we want a little deck up there yeah so who knows okay so here's what we got out of those trees why don't we uncover this meg this is our um, pile from that one tree we took down 
It was that the last episode? Remember the trio that went back on me, that poplar? All right, there's some beautiful poplar and we're just making this thing green too, meaning that we're cutting it and nailing it together. We did that a lot of things on the shed and it worked out just fine. Um, for the deck boards, we're gonna put them side by side and then as these deck boards um, shrink a little bit, they'll provide a bigger gap. So we're gonna have the gap be no more than like a 16th of an inch right now. And as they shrink, we'll probably end up with like an eighth to a yeah, 3 16th inch gap. Up. So two, we'll have a gap like that. This whole stack on the right are two by sixes and I made them dimensional like how you get them at the store. Um, I think I did six here and then an inch and a half. Um, but these are, uh, these are two by eights. And again, the actual dimension, the thickness is an inch and a half because I'm, I'm going to use hangers here. I bought some two by eight uh, Simpson strong tie hangers. For the decks, we're going to be using some of my favorite lag bolts also. This is gonna be a real quick job. We're doing them, the girders or the joists, I'm sorry, are gonna be, what, 20, 24 on center? Is that, I think that's what you designed, right? Yeah, and I got an idea of span tables, so we're well within that. We're using poplar instead of pine, so we use the pine span tables for what we're doing. All right, that's 18 feet right there. All right, look at that. Is that going? See, the goal here, guys, is to have this, like you don't want your deck to end here and then the door swing way open past it. So our post is gonna be right here. That's gonna be great. I'm gonna zoom in, John. Dude, I gotta, I, I have to show the sparkle. Where are you going? I'm just getting this so I can let it go. I wonder if you can see the sparkle. See the sparkle? Such a girl. Of course. I, I appreciate the little things, John. This, the little sparkle? The sparkle. Oh. You Cut made it. it. That's great. Okay, good. That was going to be really lame if it didn't. All right? Get a... All right, we're at eight inches. Cool. All right. That's right. pretty level. Yeah. Oh, nice, Meg. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, stick that upright. Okay. I kind of like this, this cameraman is, job. This is the cut side. Yeah, put that down. Yeah. We're going to wind up cutting the tops off. How does that feel? Like that feels looks good. pretty good. You like our technique, guys? Just, yeah. Eyeball it. Put it in there. Looks good. All right, it's, we gotta. It's leaning a little bit this way. Now here's what we're gonna do, Meg. We're gonna take that board that I just cut on the mill, that not the mill, the, the saw, and it's gonna go from that post over to this post. That's exactly nine feet. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side from there to there. Looks pretty good. That'll sit in there. Nice. That's better. Okay. Good. Which way do we need to go? That way? Ooh, hold on a second. Maybe it is right. Yeah, it would be right. Okay, good. Are you able to snap it? Got it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. What do you have to say, Meg? You've been on the channel for a while. You know how much Daddy loves lag bolts. More lag bolts. You like the lag bolts, Kurt? That's what you have to say? Huh? Yep. Lag bolts? More lag bolts. Give me the lag bolt. Yeah. I need a few in a second. All right. That's why I went and got them. Okie dokie, artichokey. And then the side is gonna Go right up against is that, it. Is that considered a jig? No, nah, it's not jig quality. <laughs> but your two favorite things, lag bolts and jigs. Yeah, you're a funny Meg. All right, we're gonna put it in right there. So we got the first post here and then we're gonna stand it up 
hanging on the next post. Probably not. Nine sixteenths for a three eighth inch bolt. I was correct. Yeah, that's not helping my headache. You have a headache? Yeah. Still from I squinting? Squint from squinting at the sun. I have to go yep. up. Keep going. Keep going. Go down. Hey, right on the noggin. Yeah? Right there. Check that post. Make sure that's level. <laughs> Is Looks good. Alright. Let's stand up. Let's see. Good? Yeah. Okay, I drop it I... down a little bit, Clara. Good. Up a little bit. Right there. Get the top one in. Go ahead. What bolt? Oh, that one? Yeah. Well, gonna... that's, okay. that's okay. All right, place this one and then. Yep, and we'll take it out and okay. get everything. That's going to be great. really good. Are you happy with it? It's going to be great. Yeah. I'm in the market for a new stump and Michael commented on our wood stove episode in the RV that we installed. He said, hey, get a stump, put a tire on it. And then try chopping wood that way. I want to show you. I tried it out, but I didn't like anchor the tire to the wood. So I have a nice piece of oak here that has a, I guess a crotch, right? So we're going to use that as the stump. And I'm hoping the diameter here is bigger than the inside of the tire. So let's cut it up with a chainsaw real quick. <laughs> it's a pair of pants. I know. It's really funny. Looks like an owl's face. Just zip that off real quick. You gotta look at it. Which one? This one or that one? Oh, probably both. <laughs> see wow. it? Do you see the owl? I do. Wait, who? <laughs> You're funny. That's my new chopping block, but not yet. Here's what we're gonna do, thanks to Michael. Now, Mike, or Michael, you provided a link. I didn't look at that link yet. Maybe I should, but I just got excited about the concept. This is not my original idea, but someone out there on YouTube land thought this up. Cool. I'm gonna show you in action too what this does. It's, it's just genius. I mean, that's not really going anywhere either. What do you think is going to happen, Nick? 
I think you're going to put a log in there and you're going to split it and the logs won't fall on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, model, Tired. Model one. Shopping block. Okay. Nice. I mean, that's faster than a log splitter. That, that. is so cool. <laughs> right? Now this is ash. White ash. And we have a problem with this wood in Virginia. And that's why, right there. Boring beetles. Boring beetles. See this right here? That's all. They are sawdust. killing. I read somewhere that they're basically killing off the entire species of ash trees. So it's bad news for baseball bats in our forests. This, I mean, if you have ash on your property, see all the dust there? Man, they just kill the tree. I had a really good example of it. I milled some, some was in the shed, and it's got all these zigzags all over it, but yeah. if you Google a boring beetle, it's a green looking thing, and um, they're nasty. But anyway, I wanted to show you the, the tire model, the tire model 3000, okay? So. That's that's pretty cool. I mean, I like that. Right? Yeah. And if you have this tire and you could walk around it, just mm -hmm. do a chop and then chop, 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 walk around it a little bit and then just give it a couple other whacks and you got some nice, just, just great little wood stove pieces. All right, we're back working on the deck. Right, Carmen? Carmen's pumped. She's protecting her bone. She's doing it on purpose. Oh, I know. She doesn't even want the bones. This is what happens. We give both of them bones. Maddie eats hers immediately. Carmen purposefully doesn't eat hers so she can taunt Maddie with it. Now she's running over there. Yep. Like, hey, watch me. Watch me eat this. This is what they do. <clears throat> Pick up this end. <laughs> oh. Whoop, maybe not. Mm. How's that? Good. You good? Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. Ow! That looks pretty good. Yeah. Should we level the camper now or? <laughs> yeah, it does kind of make the camper look like it's not level, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Either that or you know what it probably is. Well, no, the camper looks doesn't look level. Well, let's check this white bar. That's not level. If it was up there, it'd be level. So, is the deck level? Deck is level. Ah, so the camper's not level. Yeah. Good. Pro tip, if you get these to work with them, we found they have a little uh, tape catch thingy. So the tape can go right in it. Smaller ones, but well, you get not, the idea. Not big enough for that? No, it's not. Anyway, it gives you some hook. But up. it puts it right in the middle, so that's helpful. Is it appreciative? It is. I appreciate it. Why can't you put it in? I want it to line up good. I want to get this exactly where I want it. How off are we? Where are you? Mm, I'm lined up. All right, well, we're off by like a half inch, so let's just bring it, in, bring it in tight over here to your right. Good, right there. Okay. Keep it there. That is level. I am shocked. Not one lag bolt. Or a snap. Yeah. Even more than one. Go like yeah, like that. I'm good. 
Are you getting in? Here. Oh, like a glove! That's cool. I like how they go in at an angle like that. Yeah, man. We split the deck in half with this board. Now we're going to send our joists this way and then our deck boards will go this way. Yeah. That's the plan. It's all about the span table. <laughs> yeah. 24 inch, inch spans. Right, John? Uh, what, the joists on center are 24, yeah. Yeah. Get another board. Meg, explain the shrinkage. Okay. We are building this green, which means that we took down the tree, we milled it, we have not waited for these boards to dry out. So, they're gonna shrink, and they're gonna shrink pretty significantly. So, we're gonna put the boards right up against each other, and then as they shrink, they will create a gap. And what's John doing over here? John John's squaring off this end of the board. That end, they're all gonna be kind of different lengths, and then when the whole deck is done, and all the boards are down, we'll snap a line and cut all of them at once. Right? Yep. Better product that way. Why don't you read it out loud, honey? Out loud? Yeah, read it to me. Okay. Do you want me to start over? Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to hear your book. All right. Buddy clothes. Party clothes? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, clothes like you wear? Yeah. Jasper was sleeping under Katie's bed. Jasper wakes up. Hey, you gotta pause when there's a sentence, honey. Do it again. Jasper was sleeping under Katie's bed. Jasper, wake up, said Katie. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. She said to him. Quarter inch. Look, Jack's looking cat daddy. So are you. Come out, Katie said. It's time for your birthday party. Oh, Jasper. <laughs> Carmen doesn't know what to make. 
think I'm being scared. You are she seems a bit confused. Are you crazy? You like it, too? It's gonna be a new tag. Tag. Oh, oh, not this. Here, let's. Wow. So different. Is it? Yeah. I see. Come on up, baby. Yeah, baby. You're gonna have to do something here. What so, do you mean? Just something. I don't like this twisted ankle. Really. Well, we can put another. Uh, we have more of the metal. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Wow. That's great. Can we hear it? Yeah. So we got just past halfway and we're out of wood. Well, we knew that. We're doing two by sixes. We need 16 more to complete the deck. And I knew I was going to have to do this. We took down the one tree, we used the whole tree. And now we got to go get another tree. I picked one out, but before we get to that, got some wedges. Juggle them! Do it! Got some wedges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some plastic wedges. Okay, enough. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Um, I also ugh, would like to tell my mom, I did a lot of research on felling trees in the past week, and uh, I need to redeem myself. I educated myself and I went back and looked at that video and wow, I did a lot wrong. So, hey, I put it out there. And hopefully some others learn from my mistake. I'm going to try to uh, redeem myself here and go take down this next tree, which should uh, go a lot smoother as long as I make the cuts the right way. So let's go. Looking for my double. There it is. This is the last tooth. Shades of orange. I mean, you can definitely see me, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this is John's tree he wants to take down. That's it. And look at our metal shed. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it fun. I know I have all forests to choose from, but. However, if you look at this shed, it is kind of on its way out anyway. So. It's, it's termites holding hands. Right, Mick? That's what they say. That's why we keep metal in there. Yeah, we call it our metal shed. That doesn't mean it's made out of metal. It's definitely not made out of metal. But there's metal in it. Yeah. John's getting suited up. Yeah. Um, since the last episode, I did a lot of research and I feel a lot better. And it was very obvious to me why I got an abundance of comments on the channel. And I watched the guys, I don't know where they're from, but the treason guys, um, they're cool. I, I really enjoy their videos and feel pretty comfortable about approaching this tree. So we're going to do one of the cuts with the wedge is on the bottom side. And um, what I want to do, yeah, I, I just understand the compression and the tension uh, fibers in the in the tree and how to apply the back cut and get a wedge in there. Um, I just, I feel good about it and I encourage everybody else if they're a little rusty or just kind of like winging it like I was to definitely um, educate yourself. And now it's time to put that education to the to the field. So I found it was really interesting that there were so many different cuts. Yeah, I mean they they took one video in particular and just went through every cut they could, fell in um, some decent sized pine trees, like 150 foot trees. And it was also interesting in the comments how many different approaches everyone has. Yeah, that's the other point. Um, I went through all your comments and uh, it, it seems like everything's adopted from like how you were raised and like what you, um, whoever how you taught, were taught you. Huh? Yeah. Whoever taught you. Yeah, whoever taught you. And it's like you hear so many different things like how far go, to go in. I mean, every single tree is different and you have to approach them differently. And uh, you just have to, you know, look up, look, make sure there's no vines. I see one on this one, but I'm gonna cut it so it goes with the tree things like that um, I feel a lot better about everything so let's try this again 
and let's learn together and then we could look at the cut once I'm done. that up a bit. I got the two corners. I got that guy and this guy right where I want them. There's a little bit of meat right here I'm gonna hit with the blade. Or the chain, I'm sorry. Let's get this in the back, get ready for the wedges. Whew. All right. Put it right next to it. Man. Well, I felt a lot better about doing it that way than the other way. Oh, God. You mean you feel better with the wedges? Yeah. Yeah, I totally stopped. Sorry, buddy. Look, that's pretty even. I came up and got to here flat, and then I came up with my wedge, got here, I had a little bit of meat right here, and then I came just slightly above my point here, about an inch, came straight with it, and got the wedges in as soon as I could. Uh -huh. And we, yeah, compression and tension, I had about two inches there and um, fell really nicely, nice and smooth. I mean, it fell. That's exactly where, where I wanted, you wanted it. it. Yeah. I would have expected it to be a little bit more pointed that way, but I mean, yeah. that works too. Well, it bounced. 
But oh, I like yeah. I like this cut. You do a cut like that, your bottom is gonna hit first. I really like that. Yeah. I was I mean and that kicks your butt, let me tell you. That holding that saw that fit that saw is 15 pounds. And just trying to get up underneath it and swing it up like that. And I mean I just sharpened that chain, but man, that, that was putting the saw to the limits. New yep. bridge, Maddie. <sighs> Alright, I feel good. Yeah, good job. I forget what's the name of that cut? Holbert or something like that? I don't know. There's a name for it. It's basically the opposite of your traditional notch. Yeah, you got a lot more control that way. No kidding, right? The Humboldt. A, a Humboldt. I had an error cone of, I don't know, what do you think that is? Like 10 degrees? Not very much. So I had an error of about five to the shed. You did good. Yeah. Where's the vine? The vine went with it. Glad I cut it. All right, so Titan attachments. I don't know, guys. Um, I like your grapple, but why is this bending all the, all the time on me? See it? That's my tooth and the right tooth. I've adjusted this once before. This one's not bent. If you grab, I mean, this is supposed to be a rock grapple, right? If uh, if you grab something and kind of turn with it, like if you grab a if I grab a big log and turn with it and the tree is dragging, it's just, you know, applying leverage to that. That's a half inch steel and it's still bending. That's crazy. So. I just whacked the hell out of it till it's straight. I'm gonna have to two hand it. All right. Maybe we could, uh, maybe this would be better if there was a rib that went down and like actually came out to the, to the end of the tooth. Cause that's just, um, that's just straight as an arrow. That, that's a problem. That's a design problem, I think. All right, just keeping it real. Just, uh, letting you know what I think. All right, I'm going to cut these eight foot six. I really want them for the eight foot deck boards. We need a couple stairs too. So we're gonna use this tree, most of it probably. Um, but I'm gonna leave the first cut, I'm gonna, let's cut it at nine. First one I'm gonna cut at nine feet because the end there has some uh, pith that has black color to it. I've seen that before. Cut around nine feet. <laughs> I need for now I might just leave the rest as it is because those might be all the deck boards I need I'm also gonna need some uh, stair stringers so those could be very a lot shorter and then I can use this for a different dimension I don't want to cut them all at deck board length we're gonna use these and it's off the trail now so if I need to come back and cut another I can we're gonna leave it like that for a minute All right, feeling good.
is going to be nice. So that was just two logs of that other tree. Oh, is that all you cut? Yeah. Just two? Yeah, two. Wow. Yesterday, Meg asked me, where's the SD card? And the SD, you know, it's the thing the camera takes to record. Um, and couldn't find it anywhere. We swept, we looked, it's on the table. It's not like in the places we normally put it, looking all over the place and the place. I'm bad at putting something down and I don't know what happened to it. So here's an SD card, okay? That's how small it is. Yeah, little tiny doohickey. So we cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. You know where I found it? You know where I found it? The garbage. And I found it. I found it right there. I gotta make them so small. Jeez. Okay, so last night we finished installing all of the deck boards. Okay. And they're in the sun. They're drying. And the thought behind all this is that, you know, I could even start seeing some drying going on here already because these were butted right up against each other and I'm already seeing some daylight between. And uh, that's good. So we butted them right up against each other, screwed them down. Now they're like shrinking a little bit. And that's going to provide a nice gap between the boards. Hopefully not too much, but I don't know. It's a temporary deck. And, uh, you know, don't have the luxury of waiting forever for stuff to dry. So, okay. Down here, I got a little short, see? So this is my final board, and I'm like, that short. So at first I was like, oh, I just need like a little dinky piece over here, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to the mill, and I'm going to cut a new board. These are six inches, so I'm going to cut, I don't know, seven and a half or so, and just call it good. So I'll have a long board at the end instead of a board and then a really short board. I think it'd be, look nicer if it was longer versus a, a skinny board. So I don't want it to look like there's a furring strip on the end. So what we got here uh, today, we, once I do that, I'm gonna screw it down. I'll use this board probably for a stair. Uh, then I'm gonna snap a line and cut all these all at once. So it's like a really, really nice line. I'll take my time doing that and I'll set the camera up down here. You can watch me cut them all off. It should be pretty, uh, pretty cool to see. Carmen, you just taking it easy or what? You just taking it easy, honey? Carmen, there's a whole soft area on the bed, okay? You should probably put your head on the soft spot, honey, okay? She's just loving the new deck. Hopefully I can use that as the deck board, or as the uh, step. Let's test fit this guy real quick. You know, I think that looks a heck of a lot better than having a small... All right, that's a lot more sturdy. Let's go.
I'm trying to figure out our stooping location. Now stooping is the act of sitting on your bottom on the floor, but having your legs on the step. Okay, so this is very important because Meg and I stoop. We buy this like patio furniture and like all this stuff to enjoy the outdoors, but usually at the end of the day, we just sit on the top step and put our feet over and just look. Go ahead, show our view back there. That's, that's it. I mean, you'll see white tail, you'll see black bear, you'll see eagles and hawks and chipmunks and squirrels and you name it okay rat snakes the whole deal so now that i know the measurement i've measured my behind we're going to need 48 inches to stoop you know with a beverage okay that's the deal now i think we should have it off on the front we'll center it with the door and this is a four foot uh four foot t so, if you can imagine, our stairs will be right here. Now, I looked up code already, and this kind of worked out perfect. Girders should not be girders. You know, the little zigzaggy things for, that you put stairs on? Girders mm -hmm. should Aren't not... Aren't they stringers? Huh? Stringers? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> not girders. Okay. Stringers. It's not recommended to have more of a span than uh, 18 inches. And if I do it at four feet... That's a 16 inch stud pattern. Yeah, 16 on center would do it. So we would have one at the end, one at 16, one at 32, and one at 48. We just have to center it with the door and we'll have a little corner here for a little potted plant, something like that. And um, so now we just gotta do the math and figure out the steps and the treads and, and all that stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. And. Uh, I don't think we're gonna take, we don't know what to do for a railing yet, but we are gonna be putting on a railing. We're gonna give it a few days and uh, look around, get some ideas. Um, so that'll be coming, probably just be the next part of uh, next week's episode. We'll finish that up, maybe. So let's do these stringers. Let's do the stringers. I'd like to get this done today so we can enjoy it over the weekend. All right. Let's do it. You good, Meg? I'm good. Okay, I think I got enough wood to uh, make some stringers. Awesome. And uh, the most important thing is having the, th the throat of the stringer at least be three and a half inches. So I think I can get away with making some two by tens. Seven 27 and, and 3 sixteenths. Okay. Good. 39 and a quarter. 39 and a quarter. Good. 51 and 3 eighths. 1, 2, 3 eighths. Okay. 51 and 3 eighths? Yeah. And then that's it? That's it. Okay. Really? That's what we're doing? Okay. That is cool. What a cool trick, Meg. Thanks for showing me that. You're welcome. Man, that is awesome. This, this chick right here, guys. You need one of these.
So I remember uh, our previous house that we had, they had, you know, stringers like this and it was in a subdivision. And it would drive me crazy that whoever built the stringers or whoever cut the, I guess the corners were for the notch outs for the post, they would always go and then maybe go to the other side and just, you know, go until it like got through to the cut and it would have just all these past cuts. It would drive me crazy. So I'm kind of anal about keeping it neat like that. Two. See how Meg runs me right into the rock? Okay. Move the blue thing. I'm gonna move. Good, Meg? Yes. Good. All right, we get to put them in? I think so. Cool. Nice. How we doing? Good. More? I guess. I don't want to go too deep here because I want to get washers on here. I'm probably going to disconnect these one at a time and put a washer in next time I go to the store. I don't have any half inch washers. I guess. I mean, we've got to still space it, but go ahead. They feel good. They feel good. <laughs> All right. A little bouncy without a bottom, but we got to do something down there. We will. You Come on, Maddie. It. You got it, girl. Go ahead. He's got it. You it's windy, Meg. Oh yeah. It's windy, alright. Sorry if there's wind noise in this episode. We can't do anything about it. No dead cat microphone cover is gonna handle this wind. Can I show you my hair from working in the wind? You have like wind burn on your face. Yeah. Anyway, just a few things to wrap up this awesome build. We still want to do a railing. So it is safe. We don't really know exactly what we want to do for a railing. Do you guys have any suggestions, ideas for us as far as railings concerned? Let us know. And we also want to do something more at the bottom here so we don't have a rot problem. I put rocks underneath each of the stringers so they're at least not resting on the, the ground. But we're going to need to do something down there too. So those are. Those will be coming soon to finish up this build, but I'm pretty happy with it. How about you, John? Yeah, extended the living space significantly. Oh yeah. So we'll really enjoy this and I'm glad we did it now in the winter months so we could just enjoy it in the spring and not waste spring hours working on something like this. Yeah, and the other thing is we also are going to seal this yeah. once it dries out. Right. Um, we tried doing the table up here. It was it took up too much room. So we have a smaller bistro table We're gonna we're gonna put up here, but this is going to be a huge improvement for our Living arrangement definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, John. Yeah, you too.
That's great, isn't it? Look at what happened. Isn't that great? Look, guys. Good stuff right here. What was I just saying? We go through a lot of tape measures. You were trying to fix it and you pulled it all the way out. Didn't I think you? you pulled this thing. You! <laughs> I think you pulled no. this thing all the way out. We have two daughters that like to play with tape measures, so. Jerks. There goes another. No, no, don't do that. That's not a GoPro. Don't do that. You wanna see Sean, this you one? Get, you gotta make the sacrifice for the shot on a green screen today we're going to be getting this system from the from the west and it's going to zip across minneapolis and then all of the hell is going to break loose we're going to see tornadoes and and dolphins and they're going to be flying around and the tornadoes zipped in from the ocean for all the way from right, seattle come on, John. sun's going down seattle's up here and uh you know myrtle beach is way down here but there could be sh some sharks too um, you want to dig those out a little? Okay. There we go. It's <laughs> fainted. Why is this such like a big deal to put on your tool belt? It's a big commitment for the day. Yeah. It's like it takes a long time or something. <laughs> you. Alright. Whoa. It's recording my nose. What the 